ओके नेक्स्ट इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दिस इज कॉल्ड नेम मैनेजर हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर अवेयर विद नेम मैनेजर एनी वन यस सर नो ओके नो वरी सो दिस इज अगेन वेरी बेसिक टॉपिक बट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ दिस विल वर्क आफ्टर लर्निंग दिस वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट सो सपोज वी हैव अ डेटा we have a data of 10 people or 10000 people or 100 people so we have a data uh and their weekly performance so there is a data containing name and sunday to saturday seven days sales report we have a data suppose we have a data so see carefully if i am right clicking on this part or this part or this part or maybe this part of the data if i am clicking on this you can see they are showing their address h4 if you are clicking here f11 if you are clicking here d7 if you are clicking here c1 if you are selecting your whole data even that they are showing h4 if you are selecting whole saturday sales even that they are showing only i1 if you are selecting complete monday data even they are showing just d1 so this is the wrong thing if you are selecting minakshi data just showing d9 so this is not appropriate or correct so name manager means you can just name a range how suppose if you are talking about this data that means saturday so what you can do is after selection you have to go for the name box here this is the name box here you have to type name you can name you can write their name with any word or any uh, text kind of thing so suppose if you want my data with the name of my data so write my data and just enter so now if you are talking about this range in future if you work on this data so how you can work if you are doing addition so you will do sum not you have to select the range just you have to name the range name the range means my data so automatically you will get the range if you want the minimum cell so min under my data so you have to just remember the name so this way we can select a range and we can give a name to that data so again if i am selecting the whole data and just naming whole data that means you can write any name that name should be appropriate so if you are writing here whole data after writing just you have to enter then now if i am talking about the complete sales to so complete sales means sum of whole data that means you don't have to select again and again if you are aware with the data so this way we can save our time if i am right talking about elena sale or elena data 
so this is the elena data so same way you can select the range go for the name box here you can put name elena so now if you want to minimum sale of elena just give elena so this is called name manager name manager means you can name a range so now we will learn four ways to name the range first is called name box i guess you are aware with the name box how we can do this simply you have to select the range go to the box and write the appropriate name and enter this is the first way second you have to go for formulas tab and there is a option called define name define name so this is better option than name box how if you are selecting this go for formulas and there is a option called define name so automatically you don't have to write the name here is already written here already written wednesday so just click on this so your data is ready so this is the second option again doing second option if i am selecting this go for define you can see already they have taken priti from the list and just click on okay so this is better option than name box point is how we can count how many range or name manager we have created so this is called third one this is name manager so by clicking on name manager you can understand from this range how many range we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 different range if you don't want you can just select you can delete you can select you can delete you don't want any one just select and delete that means we can see how many name manager are there and either you can delete one by one yeah one time in one time one go but there is a another option if you want to create through name manager so just select go to name manager here you can see and here you can create so just create if you click on new then you will get the same dialog box which comes after clicking on define name so just click so here we have two options first after selection if you are clicking on name manager you can see the existing name manager the existing range or if you want to create new you have to click here so that is why this topic name is called name manager and the most fourth one is the most important part if you are creating appropriate name manager with this data so you have to create at least 20 18 to 20 range because you have to create saturday data you have to create friday data you have to create thursday data you have to create wednesday data you have to create prasoon data you have to create chiranjeev data you have to create elena data so if you don't if you don't want to do this if you want to create everything in one go so there is a magical option which is called create from selection so my last just select the range and after this go for create from selection this will automatically take the top row along with the first column and create a multiple range for you see you can see in one go in few seconds we have created each name each days by name manager or list here yes now sumit you can ask question so basically if we create this is a range for okay. by row or by column mm -hmm. 
uh, at the time, time making, making uh, like some data analysis. Data analysis. So mm-hmm. how we identify it and how we know that uh, uh, like so which name we have uh, saved this range. Actually that is why you have to put the appropriate name. This data name is called Brajes. So you, you can easily understand if I am talking about uh, some that sales of Brajes. So you will automatically select this range. If I am talking about the Monday sale you will automatically select this range. So you have to give the appropriate name not like anything so if your heading name is appropriate your name is appropriate so automatically you don't have to just uh, puzzle on this you can easily understand so if i am talking about the total sales of elena that means you will select this some if i am talking about the minimum sale on monday so you will select this so this is very easy to find and the in name manager you can see every thing is ready now by single click through create from selection so this is called name manager okay name manager means we can say we can put a name of a range so in future if you are working on that data so you can just apply any kind of functions or formula so this is called name manager so again we have very small notes for you tricky notes for you so on name manager so you can apply one by one you can retain one trick but if you have multiple tricks so you can more like comfortable on data so now come to the next topic which is called which is not very much important for you but we have to understand so this topic is called random data creation practically this is not very much important but if you are thinking about the industry so this is very 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 much important so we have two functions here one is called rent and another is called rent between Sometime or most of the time we have to work on our actual data but sometime you have to create random data especially during the training or draining uh, during the practice session so how you can create randomly data quickly so that is why you have to learn this suppose I want to create a range of data here which is between 1 lakh to 10 lakhs 1 lakh to 10 lakhs so we have to create few numbers if you are manually creating this type of data so you have to spend so much time for 10 minute or 15 minute or 20 minute maybe but what we will do is equals to there is a function there is a function called rand between under rent between you have to put the bottom limit and top limit so we have to create data in between 1 lakh to 10 lakhs so you have to just put two numbers in between rand between so this is the bottom limit this is the top limit and enter you will get a single data and after that just you have to spend two three more seconds to drag it down or up or right or left so data is ready so why this so just not for practical use just for practice use if you are going to create a data where you want to practice then you have to be very good in conceptually a perfect on rand between command or rand between function so with the rand between function we can generate random data between 0 to 1 the same way if you have to create a data between 0 to 1 in decimal this is easy how because you don't have to write any limits here just you have to start with the equal sign rand bracket open bracket close and enter you will get some value which is between 0 to 1 this is always less than 1 always less than 1 
that means with the help of rand or rand between function we can generate thousands of thousands or crores of data by using rand or rand between command the point is why because simple and single answer is for practice data but if you understand the feature of this function then you can understand the importance of this this functions how what is the similarity in this rand or rand between so we can say by using both function we can generate random data what is the difference between this we can just generate random data between 0 to 1 in decimal and here we can generate data between two given number this is the similarity and difference now there is a another feature which is common in both if you are writing something carefully see the value if you are writing something before writing or before enter you can see there is a number which is 9 lakhs plus which is 0.56 if you are writing yeah here prasoon just click enter now it's come to 923 lakhs or this is 56257 now i am writing prajesh so now it's 8 lakhs plus this is 0.03 if you are writing something so always if you are doing anything either writing or deleting something if you are doing any action on this on this sheet you can see there is a data effect which is changing again and again this the this is the again a common feature of rand or rand between but the most important thing is this is the feature that is why we can generate who complete world is doing or up creating otp for their security it security in it industry or any industry if you are aware with the otp one time password so that is only created by this function so suppose this cell is connected with your mobile number and your account number if you are sending me 15000 rupees so before proceeding this you will get a otp 602852 if you do this then this will successfully transfer otherwise not why otp because this will work for one time if you are going to just transfer another 1200 to another person so you will get another otp so in complete industry whether you are talking about the financial industry or any any where if you are aware with the otp that means you have to understand the back end part otp is control through rand between command so rand between is very 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 important for the industry for us just with the help of rand between we can just create random data that's it now point is because their feature is to change again and again if you are writing something this is change if you are writing something this is change now you have to fix data how to fix random data the this is the next topic i guess you are aware with this most of you are aware with this and uh, this is called paste special what is paste special so i just i'll just give you some notes on this how we can do how many of you are very much aware with the paste special i guess 50% of you are aware with the paste special feature yes hai na so now how how we can do this this is very simple process select your data if you don't want to change again and again then just select the data control c or copy and there is a right click option and go to paste special under paste special we have to learn another things also but here you have to use value okay so now your formula function is gone and now you can see 
there is a fixed data if you are writing something no effect on this because this is just a value now this is not a formula so you can get the different data again and again so paste special means to freeze your data to fix your data again once again i am doing this just select your data so that is good copy for copy right click there is a copy option again you have to right click and there is a paste special yes there is a value and then okay so this way we can just freeze the data if you are creating random data for practice so definitely you have to freeze it so this way these two chapters are again very important one is random data creation and another is paste special so these are very 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 basic chapter but these are very important so now we have another data with another chapter i guess most of you are aware with this but yes this is basic that is why i just i am telling you about the tricks and steps suppose we have a data and i don't want any duplicates value here we have data here up to uh, maybe few of the name are duplicates you can see there is a uh, adesh is here and adesh is here so we have two adesh here so there is a duplicacy in the data so how we can remove the duplicate values so that is called remove duplicate so this is very easy just select your data go for data tab and we have this option besides text to column there is a option called remove duplicate so they will ask you about the on which heading or column you are going to just delete the data so first of all you have to just uncheck or unselect all and if you want no duplicacy in the name so just select name that means you are going to delete duplicate name so click on name and okay so now you can see we were five duplicates that is removed and we have an 11 unique value that is remain here so this is called remove duplicate suppose few values are duplicates few values are duplicate in thursday if you want to delete your data on the basis of name so you can see the message there is a no duplicacy found but in the same data if you go for remove duplicate and now this time you are talking about uh thursday data if you are talking about thursday data then there are four duplicates which four duplicate values found and removed and seven remain same so this is the way to remove the data that is very very basic topic but you have to understand remove duplicate so these basic chapters are very 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 important and you have to work hard because this is very basic and under basic you don't have to just practice a lot but yes we need practice to implement in the future in future after three or four class if i'll ask you of the name manager or maybe custom list if you do practice then you can answer otherwise you forget everything so that is why practice is important so now we have done paste special random data creation remove duplicate and name manager same we have very small topic called hyperlink hyperlink 
how many of you are using hyperlink because this is very 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 important i guess sumit you have another question sumit is there no, any no, question I, I, no i have it okay just remove your hand <laughs> uh yes anyone from your uh group are you aware with hyperlink this is again very basic i am not talking about any advanced or intermediate topic i am just talking about today i am talking about very basic topic which is hyperlink so we can say for your understanding we can just divide hyperlink in three parts first part is very basic which is called web link another is called link between two files another is the link between two sheets so we have three types of hyperlink among these three we have easiest hyperlink is web link because you you don't have to do anything in this suppose you are using google or your website on daily basis you have to open your website again and again so what you can do is just write www.analytical.edu.com there is a website www.google.com or www.dic what is your website name any of you can you tell me dic.co.in right so we have three website websites if you are just simply if you have a list of website you don't have to go for go for like chrome or anything just click here you will automatically see we will jump to our website the same way if you are talking about your website see there is a website comes in front of us so this way you can arrange your some website through web link so this is very basic and this is a part of hyperlink but the point is second point is link between two files so how we can do this suppose today is the first day day 1 in this way we will move again 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 so if if there is a basic chapter today again we will do some functions on the different day again we will do something like pivot table on the different day so what you can do is just right click on the day one there is a option called link and definitely i'll share you the file so just what you have to do is just select your file suppose we have a file with the name of index page so there is a file in day 2 link there is a another file which is maybe from the word maybe from the powerpoint the same way if we have another excel file we can connect with the again excel files so you have to choose where is your file so my file is in this analytical edu point or maybe we can choose another file which is class work and first july file now see so this is called hyperlink so if you have 
just multiple data you can create some link just click on the day one you can just click on yes and automatically you can jump to the that excel file or excel dashboards if you are clicking on this if you are working on word so you can directly jump to that word file if there is a word file or any important data you have if you are clicking on this so you can see there is a powerpoint comes in front of us because this is related to ppt so everything you can connect either ppt or word or excel or jpg or pdf again there is a data so see there is a data with the name of something so we have some functions here so this way you can arrange your data so this is called link between two files but the most important part is link between two sheets because if you are creating multiple sheets on the same file maybe you are creating a list of like if you have 50 clients and you are creating different sheets for the different client different sheets for different city different sheets for different country so how you can control this so we can control this through hyperlink which is between two sheets for this what you can do is just you have to create a topic name or client name or country name something like that with the name of particular so here we have a topic that is why there is an option called topic name if you have a client name so you can name with the client so now what you can do is hyperlink that is a one chapter we have done name manager we have done serial number creation we have done paste special we have done random data creation we have done remove duplicate we have done so this is the name of topic but you can name the city you can name your clients and how we can do sit linking see right click on hyperlink there is a link option and we have to move file to place in this document under this document see all seats are visible now so you have to just select hyperlink seat from here so you can choose here where is hyperlink so there is a hyperlink here so now it's connected same way right click link just you have to search name manager this is the one time task so that is called name manager so this is name manager here serial number creation link and serial number creation is there yes paste special link go to the paste special paste special where is paste special this is the paste special now so this way you have to create whole link and after that you can use the power of hyperlink remove duplicate last time so you have to create every hyperlink now suppose if you are practicing and just you forget about the name manager what you can do just click on name manager directly you will move to the name manager you can just achoh. this is the process we can follow so this way we can use if this is the name of the suppose client there is a client name is called paste special you are talking about that particular client just click on this you will go on that that particular client or that particular city so that is why name should be appropriate remove duplicate you can understand how we can use remove duplicate if you are talking about serial number creation automatically you will move and you can understand what is the 
like calculation of this client or city or product or something like that. So this is very, very, very important. But apart from this, reverse hyperlink is parallelly important. Reverse hyperlink. So how we can create reverse hyperlink? So this is very easy. So if you are, you are talking about hyperlink, so what you can do is suppose right jump to topic. So you have to write a name which is jump to topic. So right click, there is another link and you have to connect this to our topic. So where is our topic? So this is my topic name. So see there is a link between hyperlink and topic. If you click on hyperlink, you will jump to the hyperlink topic, hyperlink seat. If you click on jump to topic, you will just move to here. So last work, what you have to do is because you have to move again and again on topic. So just copy it, go to the topic, click on name manager, place it again, go to paste special, paste it, again go to random data creation, anywhere you can place it, again you have to move to the chapter, random data we have done, remove duplicate, paste, serial number creation, we have to just control C, control V, so we have just using this. So now you can see the effect. So if you are talking about the multiple topic, if you want to just revise your paste special, just click on paste special. If you revised, now you can jump to the topic. If you are talking about name manager, just revise it, jump to the topic. If you are talking about hyperlink, jump to the topic. The same way, just think if you have a 50 clients, so if you are talking about this client, so you can see the calculation of this client. After that, you can move to the another client. Just click on this, you will go to the different client. So this is the logic. This logic, if you apply this logic on your like daily routine, so definitely you can save your time. And this is very, very, very important topic actually. And topic name is hyperlink. So is it important or not? Anyone? Anyone? So this is all about today's session. Uh, Chiranjeev sir, uh, I guess there sir, is... I have one query. Point. Yes, Manish. Sir, uh, whether uh, this will apply copy-paste. Copy-paste is there. We can do, we can do, but why? Because we are not aware where is the vac vacant cell. Suppose if I put here, so we can put together at one time, we can apply on every cell, but there is a data. There is a no data so that this will work. If you go for this, so heading will disappear. If you go for this, this will work. If you go for this, this will work. If you go for this, this will work. Something like that. So that is why we have to do manual because we have 50 clients or 100 clients. So you have to work first. This is the management kind of thing. You can manage your data, you can manage your file, you can manage your sheet. So that is why you have to do manual in initially because you have to do one time and then you can use future in future any time multiple time okay under option two uh, we can't add two files uh, against 
Oh, so so single, single there, huh? link in between, between two, two files. files. That means you want two files to open one in one go. Yes, sub suppose uh, you are uh, you will be training uh, two subjects in a single day. Okay. So we, we can, can do, do that, that or no, no, sir. If you are talking about the file, so we are talking about the single file. Under single file, there should be or there may be multiple seats. So if you are talking about the seat, then you have to apply link between no, two seats. No, I am talking, talking about, about multiple, multiple files. files. Multiple file. You have to create multiple files like, like this. And the same, you can create return or return hyperlink kind of thing for file also. If there is an index page, I'll just show you. There is a I'm using normally. There is an index page we have. Suppose I have an index page. So there is an index page. Normally I am starting my session with this. So if I am clicking on functions, so we can see that we have all functions are there. Under functions, there are several batches going on. So we can jump to the batches kind of on which batch we have to select or this or this or this. So we can do so many things, but this should be uh, like easy, not complicated kind of thing. So separately, we have two major hyperlink. One is file linking and another is seat linking. If you are working on the same seat and you have multiple seats, then you can apply this. If you have multiple file, you can apply this. This is the simple uh, typing kind of things. If you are, you have a list of the website, then directly you can move to that website like this. So uh, we'll meet on next upcoming Friday. So I request you all to please practice a lot as much as possible because from the next session we have 10 minutes initially 10 minutes QA session question answer session for you query session and again 10 minutes which is from my side QA so that means you have to spend at least 10 to 15 minutes initially QA session. If you have any doubt, you can ask. If you don't ask, I'll ask. So two way QA session will be there from the next class. So you have to work. If you not ask any question, then I'll just ask. So you have to be ready for both condition. That is why practice is important. Uh, yes, yes, sir. We will send you everything, sir. We will send you everything. We will send you. I am asking for any whole session. Yes, yes, sir. This is recorded, sir. What I am saying to you. So, this is actually recorded session. You will get the videos of the same class. Okay. Yeah. So training is over, we'll share you sheet, we'll share you sheet along with the notes, videos and then your work start after this, that is practice. <laughs> Fine, so thanks for today, Fine. we'll see you on the next class that is on Friday. Okay. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jessica. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I guess you joined late, a bit late, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.